Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where in the world you're tuning in. First of all, please forgive the noise, the set and everything, because this is a last minute filming. I'm actually live on location out in the remote wilderness of British Columbia, which is why I haven't posted a lot of videos lately. But thankfully, I've got enough of a cell signal to get this video out to you today. This video is all about the Canon announcement that we have at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time today. And I'm going to be live streaming it about a half an hour before the announcement. But before that announcement, I've already got the full leak specifications, including price and when you're going to be able to pre-order it. And already you'll notice I've got the smart pre-order links in the description down below for this, as well as the RF 35mm f1.4, which is also supposed to be announced. So let's get right to the specifications. The Canon cam cinema camera, you ready? The name of it is definitely validated as the C400. It's going to have a 6K oversampled, sorry, a 6K backside illuminated full frame sensor. And it's going to be, it's going to have a triple base ISO. So as you'd expect, an ISO of 800. The next base, well, it's not going to be at 1600, but 3200. And the third base, it's pretty high, 12,800. That's pretty impressive. It's also going to have, and this is pretty incredible here. Are you ready for this? If you have the C, the C or the R5C or the C70, this is going to be huge. But it has internal ND filters mechanical ND filters, not electronic. And remember, I showed you a patent application for this several months ago, and it showed they were trying to find room inside a camera for these actual physical ND filters. So that's a huge deal. And wait till you get to the price. It's not as scary as many has thought it would be. Many thought it would be upwards of $20,000, and it's not going to be anywhere close to that. All right. Um, forgive me here because I haven't had a chance to fully memorize these yet. So let's go over the rest of the specifications. Now, no surprises. It is going to have internal or internal cinema raw light. It's going to have uh, an improved, and this is a big deal here. This is a really big deal. It's going to have an improved autofocus system, dual pixel autofocus system. I would hope it's going to be on the same level as what we're seeing on the Stills hybrid cameras, even if it's the autofocus system that came out with the R3 several years ago. It's going to be light years ahead of what's in the R5C or even the C70. And again, please forget the noise. I'm in downtown Vancouver right now. There's a construction site going on right there. I'm hoping this lavalier mic really does help. I kind of put that in the background, but otherwise I'm going to try to wrap things up here pretty quickly so I can get this uploaded and you can get the information. Other information, time code, gen lock, dual mini XLRs, SDI out or SDI ports, as well as HDMI ports. And I'm willing to assume at this point they're gonna do full size. I can't imagine there'd be a bunch of boneheads if this was a mini or even a micro at this point. It's also gonna be able to return video input or it's gonna have return video input. It's gonna have Wi-Fi and ethernet control. And you're gonna be able to pre-order this today, right at the announcement. So I'm gonna do a live stream. I'm gonna start about 30 minutes before and I've got a quieter location planned down by the beach. I'm gonna do it live over cellular my brother's lent me his cell phone so hopefully hopefully it's a newer one we're going to have the bandwidth we need um, so you're wondering about price so a lot of people kind of said a leaked price is going to be around ten thousand nine ninety nine or twelve thousand nine ninety nine this is a pin drop moment are you ready for this seven thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars now for a camera with all these specifications internal nd filters sdi and all this just think about this for a minute here the C300 Mark III, when it came out, was what, $11,000, $12,000? We've got this camera here. I know it doesn't do 8K, but this is a cinema camera. It's designed to give you really good resolution, really good detail for $7,999 with mechanical internal ND filters. And that's pretty impressive. I, I want to say a special thanks for all those that tried to reach out to me over the past week. As I mentioned, I'm out on a shall we say, a business vacation trip, getting a lot of B-roll, doing some testing, doing, getting ready for some reviews. And I've been on many planes. Uh, I've been out to the island, been out to Vancouver, so all over the southeastern, uh, southwestern coast. And um, I really haven't had a chance to settle down. And I just got this information now, and I can guarantee you that the information I'm giving you here is bang on 100% and you're going to be able to pre-order this uh, either right at 3 p.m. when we have the announcement or shortly thereafter once the embargo is lifted. So if you want to go ahead and copy down the smart pre-order links in the description down below, what they're going to do is allow you to get in pre-order before anybody else because I think at this price here, and I'm going to talk about this, one of my guests who's going to be showing me for the, coming up on the live panel, this is what happens when you're not prepared. 
and you're filming on location. I've, one of my guests is, um, has a very popular YouTube channel. It covers televisions and other electronics. And he's constantly switching camera gear, trying to find the right camera gear. And we were having a conversation yesterday, getting ready for this live stream, talking about Canon's lack of cameras in the cinema space over the past, well, since the C70. And a lot of people were excited about the C70 and then not so much. And attention's gone elsewhere. So the big question is, is this camera enough to capture the attention of at least the creator space? And at a price tag of $79.99, that for a cinema camera with these specifications, it's looking pretty good, at least from what I can see right now. Again, we have the FX3, the FX30, which are gaining a lot of momentum. We also have some Blackmagic cameras. So uh, tune in for that live stream coming up. I'll be starting 30 minutes before, so that would be 2.30 Eastern Time or 11.30 Pacific Time, because that's the time I'm on right now. And if you want to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest regarding camera rumors, news, and all that sort of stuff, go ahead and subscribe, choose all notifications. And I recommend following me on X, so while I haven't been putting out any videos, I have been tweeting out occasionally, giving people an update on what's going on. But that's it for now, because i got to quickly edit this and then upload it to you guys. So um, have yourself a great day. We'll see you again soon. And who knows, it's going to be a busy day. I might do a live stream and then do another live stream after that for the Panasonic GH7. That's correct, the Panasonic GH7. And I've got smart pre links for that in the description down below as well. But that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again soon.